including the Russian Far East, the population of Siberia numbers just above 40 million people. As a result of the 17th to 19th century Russian conquest of Siberia and the subsequent population movements during the Soviet era, the demographics of Siberia today is dominated by native speakers of Russian. There remain a considerable number of indigenous groups, between them accounting for below 10% of total Siberian population. History In Kamchatka the Itilmans' uprisings against Russian rule in 1706, 1731, and 1741, were crushed. During the first uprising the Itilmen were armed with only stone weapons, but in later uprisings they used gunpowder weapons. The Russian Cossacks faced tougher resistance from the Koyniks, who revolted with bows and guns from 1745 to 1756, and were even forced to give up in their attempts to wipe out the Chuchi in 1729, 1730-1, and 1744-7. After the Russian defeat in 1729 at Chuchi hands, the Russian commander Major Pavlatsky was responsible for the Russian war against the Chuchi and the mass slaughters and enslavement of Chuchi, women and children in 1730-31, but his cruelty only made the Chuchis fight more fiercely. A genocide of the Chuchis and Karaks was ordered by Empress Elizabeth in 1742 to totally expel them from their native lands and erase their culture. Through war, the command was that the natives be totally extirpated, with Pavlatsky leading again in this war from 1744 to 47 in which he led to the Cossacks, with the help of Almighty God and to the good fortune of Her Imperial Highness, to slaughter the Chuchi men and enslave their women and children as booty. However the Chuchi ended this campaign and forced him to give up by killing Pavlitsky and decapitating him. The Russians were also launching wars and slaughters against the Karaks in 1744 and 1753-4. After the Russians tried to force the natives to convert to Christianity, the different native peoples like the Karaks, Chuchis, Itlmans, and Ukagirs all united to drive the Russians out of their land in the 1740s, culminating in the assault on Nizhny Kamchatsk fort in 1746. Kamchatka today is European in demographics and culture with only 2.5% of it being native, around 10,000 from a previous number of 150,000. Due to the mass slaughters by the Cossacks after its annexation in 1697 of the Itilmen and Koyuks throughout the first decades of Russian rule, the genocide by the Russian Cossacks devastated the native peoples of Kamchatka and exterminated much of their population. In addition to committing genocide the Cossacks also devastated the wildlife by slaughtering massive amounts of animals for fur. 90% of the Kamchadals and half of the Vogelis were killed from the 18th to 19th centuries and the rapid genocide of the indigenous population led to entire ethnic groups being entirely wiped out with around 12 exterminated groups which could be named by Nikolai Iadrin's Yevas of 1882. Much of the slaughter was brought on by the fur trade. In the 17th century, indigenous peoples of the Amur region were attacked by Russians who came to be known as Red Beards. The Russian Cossacks were named Luoka, Rakshasa, after demons found in Buddhist mythology by the Amur natives because of their cruelty towards the Amur tribe's people, who were subjects of the Qing dynasty during the Sino-Russian border conflicts. The Aleutian The Aleutians were subjected to genocide and slavery by the Russians for the first 20 years of Russian rule, with the Aleutian women and children captured by the Russians and Aleutian men slaughtered. The regionalist Oblast Naki in the 19th century among the Russians in Siberia acknowledged that the natives were subjected to immense genocidal cruelty by the Russian colonization, and claimed that they would rectify the situation with their proposed regionalist polices. The Russians used slaughter, alcoholism and disease to bring the natives under their control, who were soon left in misery and much of the evidence of their extermination has itself been destroyed by the Russians. 
with only a few artifacts documenting their presence remaining in Russian museums and collections. In 1918-1921 there was a violent revolutionary upheaval in Siberia leading to the Russian conquest of Siberia as Russian Cossacks under Captain Grigory Semyonov established themselves as warlords by crushing the indigenous peoples who resisted colonization. The Russian colonization of Siberia and conquest of its indigenous peoples has been compared to European colonization in the United States and its natives, with similar negative impacts on the natives and the appropriation of their land. The Slavic Russians outnumber all of the native peoples in Siberia and its cities except in the Republic of Tuva, with the Slavic Russians making up the majority in the Beryat Republic, Saka Republic, and Altai Republics, outnumbering the Beryat, Saka, and Altai natives. The Beryat make up only 25% of their own republic, and the Sarka and Altai each are only one-third, and the Chuchi, Avenk, Kanti, Mansi, and Nenes are outnumbered by non-natives by 90% of the population. The natives were targeted by the Tsars and Soviets' policies to change their way of life and ethnic Russians were given the natives' reindeer herds and wild game which were confiscated by the Tsars and Soviets. The reindeer herds have been mismanaged to the point of extinction. In just the American state of Arizona, the Native American population outnumbers the total northern Siberian native population of 180,000. Overview Classifying the diverse population by language, it includes speakers of the following language families. Uralic Permic Samoyedic Ugric, Eukarya, Turkic Yakuts Dolgans Tuvans Tofakakas Shors Siberian Tartars Chulims Altai, Mongolic, Tunguzic, Yenisean Ket, Chukoko Kamchat Khan, Nik, Eskimo Alush. Simplified, the indigenous peoples of Siberia listed above can be put into four groups, Uralic, Altaic, Yenisean branch of the Dene Yenisean languages, Paleo-Siberian, Altaic has not been proven to be a language family, a phylogenetic unit, it may be a Sprachbund, Paleo-Siberian is simply a geographic term of convenience. Here, these two terms are listed just to serve as portal-like starting points, without suggesting genetic considerations. Uralic group, Kanti and Mansi The Kanti and Mansi live in Kanti Mansi Autonomous Okrug, a region historically known as Ugra, in Russia southeast of Komi. By 2013, oil and gas companies had already devastated much of the Kanti tribe's lands. In 2014 the Kanti Mansiisk Regional Parliament continued to weaken legislation that had previously protected Kanti and Mansi communities. Tribes' permission was required before oil and gas companies could enter their land. The semi-nomadic reindeer herding people, the Izhemtsi in the Komi Republic of Russia, just west of the Ural Mountains, had already rejected the Russian oil giant Lukoil takeover of their land for oil exploration and drilling. Samoyed Samoyedic peoples include Northern Samoyedic peoples Nenezen its Nanazan, Southern Samoyedic peoples Selkup Karmasans or Karmasmata or Motokoebal, Eukarya, the Eukarya are people in East Siberia living in the basin of the Kolyma River. The Tundra Eukaryas live in the Lower Kolyma region in the Saka Republic, the Tiger Eukaryas in the Upper Kolyma region in the Saka Republic and in Saradnikansky district of Magadan Oblast. By the time of Russian colonization in the 17th century, the Ukaga tribal groups occupied territories from the Lena River to the mouth of the Anadir River. The number of the Ukagirs decreased between the 17th and 19th centuries due to epidemics, internecine wars and Tsarist colonial policy. Some of the Ukagirs have assimilated with the Yakuts, Evans, and Russians. Currently Ukaga live in the Yakutsaka Republic and the Chuchi Autonomous Region of the Russian Federation. According to the 2002 census, their total number was 1,509 people, up from 1,112 recorded in the 1989 census. 
Mongolic group, and Mongols the Buryats number approximately 436,000, which makes them the largest ethnic minority group in Siberia. They are mainly concentrated in their homeland, the Buryat Republic, a federal subject of Russia. They are the northernmost major Mongol group. Buryats share many customs with their Mongolian cousins, including nomadic herding and erecting huts for shelter. Today, the majority of Buryats live in and around Ulanuda, the capital of the republic, although many live more traditionally in the countryside. Their language is called Buryat, Turkic people. The most important examples for shamanism in Siberia are Yakuts, Dolgans and Tuvans. Most Siberian Tatars are Sunni Muslims. Tunguzik group. The Evenks live in the Evenk Autonomous Okrug of Russia. Paleo-Siberian group. Four small language families and isolates, not known to have any linguistic relationship to each other, compose the Paleo-Siberian languages. 1. The Chukotko Kamchatkan family, sometimes known as Luravitlan, includes Chuchi and its close relatives, Koyuk, Aluta and Karik. Itelman, also known as Kamchadal, is also distantly related. Chuchi, Koyuk and Aluta are spoken in easternmost Siberia by communities numbering in the thousands. Karik is close to extinction, and Itelman is now spoken by fewer than 100 people, mostly elderly, on the west coast of the Kamchatka Peninsula. 2. Eukarya is spoken in two mutually unintelligible varieties in the lower Kolyma and Indigurka valleys. Other languages, including Chavantsi, spoken further inland and further east, are now extinct. Eukarya is held by some to be related to the Uralic languages. 3. Ket is the last survivor of a small language family on the middle Yenisei and its tributaries. It has recently been claimed to be related to the Nardine languages of North America, though this hypothesis has met with mixed reviews among historical linguists. In the past, attempts have been made to relate it to Sino-Tibetan, North Caucasian, and Burushaski. 4. Nick is spoken in the Lower Amma Basin and on the northern half of Sakhalin Island. It has a recent modern literature and the Nicks have experienced a turbulent history in the last century. Culture and Customs Literature Rubkova E.S. Materials on the Language in Folklore of the Eskimos Volume I. Chaplin O. Dialect Academy of Sciences of the USSR, Moskva Asterisk Leningrad, 1954. Menovshov, A. Popular Conceptions, Religious Beliefs and Rights of the Asiatic Eskimos. In Dyashaji, Vilmos. Popular Beliefs and Folklore Tradition in Siberia. Budapest, Akademir Ikeado, Boruska, Heinz. Eskimo March N. Eugen Diedrichs Verlag, Dusseldorf and Köln, 1969, Merker, Daniel, Becoming Half Hidden, Shamanism and Initiation Among the Inuit, Acta Universi Status Stockholmiensis, Stockholm Studies in Comparative Religion, Almkavist and Wicksell, Stockholm, 1985, Cliven, and Son, B. Eskimos, Greenland and Canada, Institute of Religious Iconography State University Groningen, E.J. Brill, Leiden, 1985, ISBN 90-04-071601. Citations. Carrot Black 2008. Carrot Forsyth 1994, pp. 145-6. Carrot Forsyth 1994, 146. Carrot Forsyth 1994, 147. Carrot Jack 2008, 388. Carrot Condé Nast's Traveller, Volume 36, 2001, 280. Carrot Yearbook 1992, 46. Carrot Moat 1998, 44. Carrot Etkin 2013, 78. Carrot Stefan 1996, 64. Carrot Kang 2013, 1. Carrot Forsyth 1994, 151. Carrot Wood 2011, pp. 89 90. 
Carrot Bobrick 2002, Carrot Bisher 2006, Carrot Batalden 1997, 36, Carrot Batalden 1997, 37. Carrot http colon slash slash wwwperepus 2002ru slash ct slash doc slash english slash 4-1.xls Russian Federation 2002 Census National Composition of Population and Citizenship Carrot http colon slash slash wwwperepus 2002ru slash ct slash doc slash english Slash 4 4 xls Russian Federation 2002 Census Knowledge of Languages Carrot AB Survival International 2014 Carrot The New Encyclopedia Britannica 15th edition Volume 2 396 ISBN 0 85229 315 1 Carrot Tilling 8 Eskimo and Alu Sharmas Kunste Mora Accessed 10 February 2014